understand. There are two main concepts. If we could highlight these two, and they'll be a little bit abstract for your age bracket, but they are critical. And if you go over this with your parents, they will understand it. Statism versus individual rights. Statism is a term that says the government controls everything. And there are various ways, and we will get to that on your badge pieces. Individual rights is the concept that literally grew out of barbarians in northeastern Europe on the continent, and that's what we're going to go through, and their thinking that they transferred to England that resulted in what we live, what we have today. This tug of war between statism, central control, and individual rights has been around since man's been around. It's not new, it's old, and it will always be here. Our problem today is we're weak on this side, individual rights side. That carries responsibility. Mm -hmm. The result of this statism versus individual rights were two forms of law that emerged out of Western Europe. And one is common law. Where did I get there? Continental law versus common law. Okay. Continental law came off the continent of Europe. So those of you that have world history yet, or European history, you have all the countries on one side and you've got England as an island by itself. The continental law came out of Roman law and it was top down. We have policies and procedures that all you guys have to follow. And if you have a crime in it, it has to fit in one of these categories. Whereas common law started off and said, huh. You have a unique situation, we'll work the law through on that. You have a new unique situation, and that is extremely important. We'll come back to that. Western civ, which is mostly English civ, made the rule of law. And you will hear that in your courses. But the rule of law says everybody obeys the same law. And we're having trouble with that today, all right? So and it came off common law versus Roman law, personal liberty, and representative government. So this common law thing is common. The average person actually did it. Now, this is a list of people who were messing around for about 1,700 years before we had our Constitution. I'm going to take a very fast look at these, because you will hear about barbarians, and um, we kind of want to push them off in the corner as if they were not sophisticated or something. So go ahead. From, and this is starting time of Christ. You guys are you guys are in Christian school. You learn about Jesus Christ. Our AD years on your on your domine, year of our Lord starts zero. That's where we base our calendars and our years. Now, the Romans at that time owned a lot, or ruled a lot of Europe. They were even in England. And if you remember, and you had your we're coming up on Easter, and the Romans crucified Jesus Christ because the Jews got mad at him. They said, we got to get rid of him. He's a, he's a pain for us. We're talking about before 100, all right? The Romans were everywhere. They were all around the Mediterranean Sea. They were pushed into Europe. And what they were doing is they were pushing up to these basic barbarians who lived on the North Sea, which is the water between England and Europe. And the Romans had this whole legal system, and they were very sophisticated, and they had all their rights and everything like that. And they come up with these barbarians, and they say, hmm, do you guys ever go to camp? Most of you go to camp? You sit around a campfire at night every so often, and you talk about stuff. These barbarians would sit around at night or in the daytime, and they would settle problems in the community. It could have been a little town of 50 people or maybe a town of 500 people. But they would sit around and they would work through their solutions. So if you had a disagreement with you, then the rest of you would sit around and you would present your side. And you would present your side. And the rest of you would decide what, the, what to do. They would decide whether you got it or you got it. Okay? Or if we both had to give up a little. This is pure republicanism groups decide. And these barbarians were doing that. And the reason we know this is not because they wrote it down, but the Romans wrote it down. 
and there was a Roman historian, and he said, God, man, I can't believe what these barbarians do. Man, they don't have any judges or courts. They just decide things on their own. Ooh, what a null concept. So what some of the basic beliefs of these barbarians, and you'll see how these come forward, the tribe, all of you have to obey the same law. That was key. That was not the case most other places. Tribal families had rights. The rich people had rights. The property owners had rights. Whatever the case, the law was not standardly applied. All right. They also had this concept of private property. If you go most places on the planet, even today, the bulk of property is owned by very few people or governments. This thing of private property was a big deal. They said, "I'm an individual. I'm I'm a bit different from the rest of you guys." And so I have my own rights. Um, and freedom of worship. And they said, oh, what was it? These guys were not Christians. But some of them worshipped a tree. Some of them worshipped the water. And they said, it doesn't matter. We can worship what we want. You don't have any right to tell me what to do. So these concepts, as old as they are, in essence became the foundation of our law. That we didn't have a document.